good morning students i hope you all are fine my name is amarpreet kaur and i am your computer teacher today we will start a chapter second whose name is computer memory before starting this chapter first write date and day on the top of this chapter now what is a computer memory computer memory is a that place where you can store each and everything like you can store your photos videos it it is a place memory is just a place and it depends upon the memory how much memory do you have in your computer only up to that limit you can store Okay. Now, when you were child, you were taught about alphabet and numbers. Now, when you were very very small, uh, you uh, read the alphabets A B C D A to Z, and uh, you read the numbers one, two, three like this. Do you still remember it? Now, if I will ask you uh, today uh, to tell me the alphabets and numbers do you remember it how how you remember it this is so because these are stored in your memory because those things are still in your mind okay just like a human memory computer also have a memory to store all the data and instructions for performing various tasks okay uh, we have a brain and we can store each and everything in our brain uh, like uh, our brain computer also have a memory to store all the data and instructions underline this word uh, instructions okay now next topic is memory now what is memory the data and instructions that are entered into the computer using the input devices are to be stored inside the memory underline this line okay now the data that you entered into the computer uh, using a uh, what are input devices like keyboard mouse uh, you use a keyboard you use a keyboard to type the data and that data is stored in the memory and there are two types of memory now what are those types first is primary memory underline this word and second is secondary memory also underline this word okay now what is primary memory this is the main memory of the computer okay this is another name of this memory is main memory cpu can directly assess this memory underline this whole line okay cpu can directly assess this memory okay it is fixed on the motherboard of the computer now where it lies it lies on the motherboard primary memory is further divided into two type two types okay this memory has further two types first is random access memory underline this line and the read only memory this these this is the full form of ram and this is the full form of rom learn the full form okay full forms are very very important now what is random access memory means ram ram is temporary memory underline this line okay the information stored temporary means you can temporarily store a data and the data will not be permanent there we use ram only for the execution of programs the information stored in this memory is lost okay now what is the disadvantage of this memory your information will be lost when the computer is turned off when uh, suppose you have open a game and suddenly your computer is turned on then your game we, you will lost your game okay and that's why it is called a volatile memory okay underline this word volatile because it is temporary memory so that's why we call it volatile it stores data and instructions given by the users in a ram we can store a data but we can't store data permanently okay and this is the disadvantage and also the results produced by the computer temporary we can store the results temporarily we can't store permanent results okay now you can see the picture of ram here this is just like a card okay 
Now next is RAM can be of two types. Now RAM has further two types. First is dynamic RAM. It is also called DRAM. Next is static RAM. It is also called a SRAM. Here S means static. D means dynamic. Now dynamic RAM. Dynamic RAM requires a continuous power to refresh the data store. Underline this line. Now in case of dynamic RAM, uh, we have to apply a continuous power to refresh the data store. Whenever uh, your PC will be on or whenever you provide a continuous power, uh, in that case, you can only use a RAM and you can refresh the data. Okay, now next is static RAM. Static RAM also needs a constant power to hold on to data, but it does not need to be continuously refreshed the way DRAM does, okay? Now, stat in case of static RAM, you uh, do not need to uh, continue your power, okay? Uh, if there will be a no power, then your data will be hold on, okay? DRAM, uh, now next is, however, SRAM is significantly faster. If we compare both these, which one is faster? SRAM means static. And uses a, it uses a less power because in case of dynamic, we have to provide a continuous power. But in case of static RAM, uh, power, continuous power doesn't matter. Your data will be still there, okay? Now, Next type is ROM, read-only memory. Information stored in ROM is permanent in nature. Okay, underline this line. Now, that is, it holds the data if the system is switched off. But in case of ROM, if your PC, your computer is switched off, then your data will be still there and the data will be stored in the permanent form. It holds the starting instructions that are required to start a computer. Whenever you switch on your computer, a blue screen will be visible on your computer. All these things that are shown in the form of blue screens, all things are stored in the ROM memory, okay? It is also called a non-volatile memory. Another name of ROM is non-volatile means permanent storage. Next is secondary memory. This memory is permanent. Secondary memory means your hard disk. The data you stored on your computer means you store on a hard disk, okay? This memory is permanent in nature and is not directly assessed by the CPU. Underline this line. This is the permanent and you can't, your CP cannot assess the data directly, but in case of primary memory, you can assess the data directly, okay? You can fetch the data directly. It allows users to store data that may be easily retrieved, okay? It will uh, allow you to store the data uh, you uh, you can easily retrieve means suppose you have stored your pictures on a computer in uh, in a particular folder then you can find that folder easily it is cheaper okay main advantage is this it is cheaper as compared to ram okay ram is more costly than rom okay secondary memory devices are also called secondary storage devices. We can also call secondary memory as a secondary storage devices. They are categorized into three types. Now there are further, it has three types. First is uh, magnetic disk, optical disk and flash drives. Under magnetic, the example of magnetic disk is hard disk and example of optical disk is CD, DVD, uh, Blu-ray disk that uh, uh, we will discuss further. And uh, flash drive is a pen drive you use in your daily life and your memory card, you can say you put the memory card um, in your phone. Now, first we will discuss the magnetic disk. Now, what is magnetic disk? A device such as a hard disk is, is the example. Underline this word, okay, hard disk. A device such as a hard disk is covered with a magnetic coating, okay? Uh, a magnet is polished on a 
uh, on the magnetic disc. Okay, so a coating of magnet is uh, done on this uh, device that is magnetic disc. You can record and erase data on a magnetic disc any number of times. Okay, this is the main advantage. You can record a number of times on this disc, and you can uh, number of times you can erase your data. Now the example of magnetic disc is hard disk. Okay, you can see the image of hard disk here. On this, you can store your pictures, videos, and uh, many more things you can store. Now, what is hard disk? Hard disk consists of one or more magnetic disc called platters. Underline this word platters. Okay. Now this hard disk is made up of one or more magnetic disks are included in this hard disk and those disks are called the platters and each disk in the pack has a top and bottom surface. If there is a disk, disk has a uh, top and also ha has a bottom, okay, uh, bottom surface and this one is your top surface and this one is your bottom surface on which data is recorded on these platters data we can store using a magnetic head a head will move on these circles you can say on these platters and data will be stored and it is permanently fixed in the system unit and this hard disk is uh, you can fit into your uh, CPU. Under CPU, there is a motherboard. On a motherboard, you can fix your hard disk. Okay. It is usually used for permanent mass storage. You can store a permanent data here. If you have stored your pictures and videos, you can store your pictures for many years. Okay. The most important function of the hard disk is now what is the function of this disk is to store program files. You can uh, store your files, your photos, your videos as well. Okay, anything you can store. Next is hard disk comes in a variety of sizes with the storage capacities as high as 5 TB. Uh, now it depends upon your choice. Uh, what size you want or what uh, storage capacity uh, you need. Uh, you can uh, purchase a hard disk of 1 TB. If you want to purchase a hard disk of 2 T TB, it's your wish. Okay, TB means terabytes or even more. You, uh, you can, uh, uh, if you want a more uh, storage, then you can uh, uh, buy uh, up to 5 TB hard disk. The CPU says data stored on the hard disk much faster. CPU will process the data which will be stored on this disk. It, uh, you can uh, process very fast. Then it can assess data on CD. It, it is very difficult for CD to find data on a CD, but uh, it is very easy for CPU to find data on a hard disk. So we should use a hard disk okay now external hard disk now this is your external hard disk is also available um, hard disk we can also use inside the computer and uh, we can also use uh, that hard disk which you, we can use outside means external hard disk are also available they are the hard disk that can be connected to any computer with the help of usb port you need a wire you have to connect a wire one end you have to connect to this external hard disk and another end we will connect to a pc okay now first hard disk was introduced by seagate in underline this line students first hard disk was introduced by the seagate in 1979 which could hold a 5 mb of data now first disk have only a, a storage of 5 MB, which was very, very small. But nowadays, we can store a number of things. We have a lot of storage <clears throat> on a hard disk. Now, we have covered up to this and the next topics we will cover in the next video. So thank you, students. Stay home, stay healthy. 
stay happy